Hey, what's up guys? It's Greg with OM Gadgets back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a speed and RAM management comparison between the Nexus 6P and the iPhone SC. Now, I would say that both have similar hardware because they came out at the same time. The hardware powering the iPhone SC is roughly the same hardware as what's powering the iPhone 6S and that came out about the same time as the Nexus 6P. The only advantage that the iPhone SC may have is the fact that it has a smaller resolution display, but I don't think that'll be a big deal when we're doing tests like these. So let's take a look. Which one's faster? Which one manages multitasking better? Okay, both phones are on the table. We will power them on in three, two, one. And let's see which one of them starts up first. I wonder if the Nexus 6P animation will actually slow down its startup process. Interesting to think about. The iPhone does not have an animation, it just shows an Apple logo. Okay, it looks like the Apple phone is first ready to go, while the Nexus 6P is still starting up. The Nexus 6P is my device, the iPhone is my wife's, so this kind of upsets me to see. Okay, I'm going to unlock this phone off the screen. Okay, I'm going to show you that we are in airplane mode on both devices and we're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And I'm also going to show you that we don't have anything in our recent apps tray. Both of these phones are not running any background processes at the time. We'll start with Facebook. And it looks like it loaded faster on the Nexus 6P. Let's move on to Twitter. Again, Nexus 6P loaded it faster. Let's move on to YouTube. Okay, looks like this time the iPhone loaded faster. We'll search for a video. OM Gadgets, of course. Okay, the channel loaded faster on the iPhone. Let's launch the video at the same time. And it looks like it played first on the iPhone. Sorry about the sound. Yes, definitely the video is ahead on the iPhone. Okay, because I have YouTube Red, it's actually playing in the background on the Nexus 6P. Let's open up Google Chrome. We will go to the same website on both devices. We'll go to WWE.com. I think it's a good website to test. Lots of pictures and such okay it looks like it appeared first on the nexus 6p but it loaded first completely on the iphone we'll open google maps okay looks like the iphone loaded it first however we do have a disclaimer that i had to dismiss on the iphone we're going to search for dallas texas on both devices and we'll push enter at the same time and I don't know what's going on with the iPhone. It's not showing the map. Let's let's try this again. Okay, so here's the map of Dallas. You know what? Let's go ahead and dismiss this app from our recent apps tray and start again. I want to get a good 
comparison on Google Maps between the two devices. Okay, again we have the location disclaimer. Let's search for Dallas, Texas again. Okay, again it's not working on the iPhone. You know what, we're going to move on. We'll come back to this during the RAM management portion of the test. Let's open the Amazon app. Okay, loaded first on the iPhone here. We'll search for a Nexus 6P on both devices. Okay, and the results were almost instantaneous on the Nexus 6P, but the iPhone did not take at all long to load those results. We'll open the camera apps, and it looks like the iPhone was just a hair faster on that. Let's open up Shazam. Okay, iPhone loaded that one faster. We're going to turn on some music and do a search, see which one is first. Okay, looks like the iPhone came up with the result first. So we'll move on. Let's open our first game, Dead Trigger 2. And wow, that is very, very fast on the iPhone. Next 6P is still loading. Let's push play on both devices at the same time. Okay, the iPhone has already finished loading and it's playing the intro animation. The Nexus 6P is still loading. Okay, the intro animation looks like it is done on the iPhone and should be ready to go very soon. Nexus 6P is very far behind at this point. Okay, let's go to our next game. We'll go to Temple Run 2 on both devices. Okay, we are at the load screen on the iPhone, and we are at the intro animation. We have just now gotten to the load screen on the Nexus 6P. iPhone definitely beat the Nexus 6P in this game as well as Dead Trigger 2. Let's play it. Okay, the game started on the iPhone as well. Faster. We're going to go to our home screen and let's start the RAM management portion of this test. We'll go to the first app we opened up which was Facebook. Okay, that came up first on the iPhone and neither app had to reload or refresh, I'm sorry. Let's go to Twitter. Okay, and the Nexus 6P is refreshing, which is kind of weird considering that the Nexus 6P has one gigabyte of RAM more than the iPhone's SE. YouTube as well as refreshing. on the Nexus 6P. Let's move on. Let's go to Google Chrome. Okay, on the iPhone it's exactly where we left it. On the Nexus 6P this website had to refresh. 
So far, I am not thrilled with how the Nexus 6P manages RAM compared to the iPhone SE. Opening up Google Maps, it is refreshing yet again on the Nexus 6P. The iPhone had it just where we left it. Let's open the Amazon app. The iPhone switched to the app first, however, and the Nexus 6P didn't reload this one. Okay, the camera came up first on the iPhone. Let's open up Shazam. And again, the Nexus 6P is refreshing. Makes me wonder, what is going on with the background processes on this phone? Let's open Dead Trigger 2. And it looks like the app completely got shut down and has to reload from the start. I am not going to go through the whole reloading process on the Nexus 6P. We are moving on. And it looks like it's stuck in landscape mode. Let's try to get it in a portrait. Uh, it doesn't want to. So we'll just move on. When I open Temple Run 2, it should force it in a portrait anyway. Okay. That was almost neck and neck. And the app did not refresh on the Nexus 6P. So there you have it. The speed and RAM management comparison is done. Okay, I want to be honest with you. I am one of the biggest, loudest proponents of Android you'll ever meet. But we got slaughtered here by the iPhone. Now, the Nexus 6P did open a few apps faster, but the iPhone SE started up faster it definitely blew the Nexus 6P away in RAM management, and it loaded both games faster. It looks to me like it is a faster performing device than the Nexus 6P, and I hate to admit that, but fair is fair. You have to give credit where it's due. This is Greg with OM Gadgets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free, to, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to OM Gadgets. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.